the theme of this year, Women's Day, is Digital Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality. Pull it up. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. We are a chosen generation, with a call for to show His excellence. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who three, two. I am. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Mm. Okay. Now send it online. Okay. Young girl. Moshimiwa. Young girl. Mimi na itoka suiti na na toka apa imta ya bamba ambayo na akilisha. Kuna mambo kaza wa kaza ambayo ni na ubisa sisi. Boya. Boya young girl. Wewe siuko suppose kuwa shule. Eh, shule sikuizi ni optional. Leza enda, leza mm. kosa kuenda. Kwa sababu shuezi wa chanya nyangu mm. peke yake. Ok. Mm. Sasa, mm. sema sida. Sida ni hii ukame. Mm. Mvua, mvua hainyeshi, kumekuwa mm -hmm. na ukame, vitu ni ndogo, watoto wanakuwa. Sasa, mimi mwesimiwa. Waja. Yes. Listen to me. Mm. Mimi mwesimiwa. Mm. Nimechaguliwa juusi. Mm. Hata miesi sita bado. Mm. Hata kiti sita kalia na matako mbili. Mm. Hata sita angoma ya kampeni ya ijeisha. Mm. Unataka nifanya ni? Today, today let me speak. Let me speak for that young boy. That young boy is dragging his feet to school. Carrying a backpack full of pains and sorrows. From his father, his stepfather, his uncle, that man who's scared of trusting people in his back. Today, let me speak. Let me speak for that man who's not a soldier, but every single night is fighting battles in his head. That man who's struggling to fit in and make it out in a society that is full of itself and full of criticism. That man was silenced by the society. Today, let me speak. Let me speak for that man. Who was humiliated by his wife that man who has seen it all but did not live long enough to tell it and i believe it's right about that time when we the young people do away with our seats and stand up for ourselves for telling the truth is a tall order and those standing for it are short asante sana for that amazing amazing poetry piece we are appreciating the milestones ambazo wanawake wame make ningependa kualika just a few representative up and belly. Waweze kutusaidia kuwelewa. Themi ya lewa inasema nini? In no particular order, is there a correlation between climate change, climate action, and gender-based balance? There is not enough information or enough data to try and make those links. But the best and simplest example that I can give you, in the rural area, when their weather changes, what happens? When it gets too hot, what happens? They are droughts, isn't it? Who is it that fetches water generally? Women, isn't it? Which means that if a water point has dried up because of weather changes, what happens? She needs to walk even further, isn't it? When she has to walk further because of the climate change related droughts, what happens? She spends more time fetching water, isn't it? And what happens when you're spending your whole day fetching water? It affects the entire life cycle of a woman. The men are not exactly escorting you to go and get that water. And you are exposed to gender-based violence. Climate change, generally, for any sector, is a risk amplifier. Now that we have seen the problem, how can we build solidarity? 
we need to call upon governments to acknowledge first the existence of the problem, like the drought in, in the country, and we can use uh, the digital, we're in the digital age now, we can use social media uh, platforms to, to advocate for that. Uh, we can uh, call for gender and social inclusion in climate change responses from the different actors. We need to also call for the participation of women and persons with disabilities where Today. important decisions are made that affect our lives. digital inclusion. But how do we create awareness to ule mwanamke ambaye hata maybe kabambe hana? We have a communication department and um, they have outreach programs but from what i've heard we have to do more to reach out to the the women in the mashinani areas Sindio, Napia, we are working towards a call center in our sector so that at least anytime anywhere 24 hours you can reach us and we are also working towards later on in the year an innovation week with partners so that we can be able to talk more of technology and how they can improve on you even as we think about our theme for the year, about the innovation and technology um, as bringing uh, equality. Yes, there's a lot of opportunities that we can have, but of course this always starts with us and what we think about ourselves. And the limitation starts in your mind. And the more we think about ourselves as people who can do what we want to do, as people who can occupy whatever spaces it is that we want to occupy, it starts opening up your mind to another different opportunity. Then even as you're placed in a place where there's technology, it starts opening up your mind to what can that technology do for you. Mukangalo le hutsa no le musuma no ma mukangalo wenyanga uri wa manya rosirita tibosi wo ari mushiere wa ben wa manya rosirita tibosi wo ari mushiere wa ben ibi hulanga rosirita mushiere wo na eni posi wo ibi hulanga rosirita mushiere wo na eni posi wo mukangalo uye me hutsa mukangalo le sinya musumba. Mukangala we have Mukangala Mukangala Agnes, just hearing you being a woman in that field, how do you even remain sane with all these male drivers on the road? So just share with us those best practices so that if there's a woman here, she's been wanting to be a taxi driver, see Ogope. This is a male dominated world, uh, the industry. And any time I could get a client, the client is more keen on the road than me. But we had to make sure that he or she understands that we ladies can drive well, we are safe when we take our clients home. I mentor the women in this digital world, and that's why you can hear I have many titles, because every time that I stand out and say something about the drivers, I'm already the number one. And that's what we are celebrating today as women. We have to improve on digital empowerment because once you are better, you will be able to be more economically viable and productive. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for that insight. Um, Jane Denga, professional wheelchair tennis player. And I also heard that you won an award. Talk to us. Number one, I started wheelchair tennis in 2012. I just saw and I fell in love with wheelchair tennis. And since 2012, I've traveled in 23 countries and I've won Sports Personality of the Year Award 2018. I've won nine gold medals, and eight silvers, three bronze, uh, Sports Personality of the Year Sawyer Award 2018. You are not limited in anything. When I started, no one believes, even my family themselves, didn't believe that I can do it. <laughs> The power to lead lies within our hands. The power to lead and be seen as women lies within our hands. And all the women that we are celebrating today, there is one thing that is very common in them. They had to get out of their comfort zones, they had to be different, and they had to stand out. So we have to keep being the people that actually stand out. We have to keep doing what we do. We have to also empower our girls to become the leaders that we want. 
the future of everything that we are trying to do right now is in our hands and all of us can do something to address some of these challenges. And if you look at today's themes around innovation and technology, there is so much power that we can tap into as women, as girls, as young people, every person to be able to push for the things and champion for the things that matter on this planet. What I have to say about us as Vice Versa Global, Sisini a platform by young African journalists and we are taking charge of telling the African story. We appreciate all of you for making this uh, possible. Also special thanks to the Embassy of the Netherlands. Uh, thank you so much for being able to support us uh, in this. BHESP, Kenya Red Cross, Polycom, ITF, NCC Women Committee, Care Kenya, Kibera Gender Advocacy Network, ambao ni network ya vikundi zaidi ya telapini, toka hapa hapa Kibera Santeni sana, Asante Mzazi Foundation, Crew, Coptic Hospital, a watcher, she leads a Seriani, rich alternatives, CM, our private sectors, Kuna BTL, Kuna Prini Group, CCGD, Na Vikundi Vingi Sana, Kuna Shofko, Ambao Wote Wameza Kfanikisha, Half Lai. Thank you, thank you, and thank you once again.